Hey guys, welcome back to another Happy Chuck programming video. And in this video, we will be covering tile maps in PhaserJS. So let's get into it. So basically, as you can see in this Chrome browser right here, we have a character who's jumping around. And there is actually a world he's jumping around on. And so, to build this world, we are going to use tile maps. And tile maps are basically um, maps. Like so, this canvas right here that the world is in, it's basically divided into tiles. <clears throat> For example, this diamond, it's a tile of the world. And it's part of a whole tile map. And this object, the square, that's blue and it has a uh, darker circles this is also a tile and so using some software you can place these tiles and enable collisions so that your character can jump on platforms and stuff and so that we we developers do not have to code these tile maps and we can just use uh, some files to just load this in and it makes coding so much easier. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's get into it. So to build a tile map, we'll need a, a software called Tiled. It's a really good map editor, and you can download it for free. Okay. Here is Tiled when you first open it. Look, we're going to create a new map, though. So click new map, and this is where you're going to pick what you want. So the orientation, it's going to do, we're going to keep it on orthogonal. And for tile layout format, we're going to need CSV. Tile render order, write down. Map size, you can do fixed, unless you want to do infinite, but we won't be covering that. For my map, we're doing 13 by 10 tiles uh, yeah and the so that's basically the map size and the tile size is gonna be 64 and this basically is how much how big your tiles are and this is 60 in my tiles are 64 by 64 okay <clears throat> so as you can see the total pixel size will be 832 by 640 and so that means your canvas will have to be 832 by 640 so make sure you just change that before getting into this okay now we're going to click save as and then you can call it anything you want and I'm just going to save it to the desktop and I'm going to call it tile map one and make sure you have selected tm dot tmx and xml for the format okay here is the screen where you're gonna do your tile map editing stuff and as you can see as you move your cursor around you can basically select tiles and in a <coughs> In a short while, we're going to give it a tile set to use and we'll be able to place blocks. So let's give it a tile set to use. So on the right bottom, it says new tile set. Make sure this is on layers, by the way. So new tile set. And here we'll call it tile set 1. And this will be based on tile set image. This is um, only going to work if you have a tile set and I'll show you what a tile set is so this is what a tile set is it's basically a huge image that has the individual tiles on it and make sure each of the tiles is the exact same size or else it won't work correctly okay so make sure this is on based on tile set image but you can use collection of images if you don't have a tile set but that's 
we're not going to do that today. Now just select the source. And let me just do that real quick. There we go. So now just use transparent color and everything looks good. Um, just click save. So now we're on a TSX file, but we don't need this. Let's go back to our TMX file. Looks like something happened. Let me try fixing this real quick. Uh, sorry about the issues, guys. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, make sure you don't close the TSX file. I'm sorry. Okay, so now you can select your individual, uh tiles as you can see this editor has already select or um, made sure all of the tiles are separate already for you so you can just select one and place it right here as you can see so this I'm just gonna try recreating what I did and these are some grass blocks yeah so yeah there we go. So that's basically what I made, but it's a bit different. So once you're done creating your map, you just go to File and Export as a Tile Map One, and you're gonna do. It says all files right here, but you're actually gonna do a CSV file, and then you'll click Save. But I'm not doing that right now because I already have one. Okay, now let's go to the code. So once you make sure you put your CSV file in your folder where you're coding. As you can see, this is what the CSV file is. In the TMX file, you can just delete in the TSX file, you can also delete. But we need the CSV. So as you can see, this is what's happening. Remember the the, these values are basically the tiles that we made. So minus 1 are the transparent tiles that we didn't color. And 49 was that gem. 6 was the, the block underneath the gem. 72 are the grass blocks. 28 are... No, 72 is the pieces of grass. 28 was the... Uh, Kind of the half blocks, the half um, blocks, and zeros were the full grass blocks, and three were the dirt blocks. Seventeen is a uh, stone blocks that I added. Let me show you. See the gem, the block underneath the gem, the half grass. Yeah. Looks pretty much the same as I told you for the CSV. So we're going to load the CSV in our game.js. So in our preload, instead of doing game.load image, we're going to do game.load tile map. Let me just make this a bit bigger. And then for the parameters, we'll give it the tile map ID. But you can do anything you want here. I'm gonna do tile map and then comma and then this is the source and it's called tile map .csv. So once you've done that, you wanna load the tile set image also. And the tile set, remember, it's the uh, huge sheet of tiles. Okay, so just load those. And in our create, we will. Uh, there, so we're gonna do map equals game dot add tile map. This is the ID, and 64 is the width of the tiles, and six the other 64 is the height of the tiles. So you remember to put that there. Then we're gonna give it a tile set image, 
and this right here we're just adding that to the map so that it knows to use this um, okay so now we're gonna create a layer of the map and this will be layer zero and we're gonna resize the world so now for collision so this means we're gonna collide with our platforms and our grasses so that we're not going to these objects and this will actually become a platforming game. <clears throat> so to do this, we're gonna do map.setCollision and this is basically the indexes 0, 28, 6, and 17 and these refer to your CSV file. So this means it will collide with 0, 28, 6, and 17 which is the stone. And make sure you, when you're including more, uh, you're including multiple indexes, you must put these brackets around the indexes. So that's going to make it collide with uh, those tiles. So now let's keep going down. Okay, so in our update, we're going to do the collide. We're going to collide with the player. And the layer and the layer remember it's the layer zero we're gonna collide with the layer because we need to make sure the player doesn't go through the platforms and things okay so oh that is actually pretty much it that's how you add your tile map to the platformer game Oh, and one more thing, I did update the player input, and now it is working a bit better. Before it was uh, not colliding correctly, so I had to update the player input. So let me just show you what this on floor does. So on floor, it's going to check if the player body is on the tile, and it's on like the upper part of the tile so if this was the first it would if this was the tile it was colliding on it would check the top of the tile so that's what it refers to there is also an on wall that you can use which will check if it's on the sides so yeah that is pretty much it Okay, so yeah, that's all. Hopefully this will help you a lot in making your platformer game. And hopefully this was a good video for you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye.